Okay, this is a DMX, a laser rebuild project that I've been working on for a little while, but I would show you. Okay, what initially happened when I got it is it was broken. How it was broken uh, was just a random fluke. Uh, it was a red and green laser originally, now it's a green and blue laser, as you can see. Uh, it is running. Uh, what happened was uh, there was a red laser mounted here and a red laser mounted here with a cubed uh, dichro. And the optical stage was loose so when it was dropped uh, the optical stage rocked back and the casing of the red laser here uh, hit the driver board for the red lasers and shorted not shorted out not only the lasers um, but it also sent a feedback to the ground casing of the gallows and managed to short those out so as you notice uh, what is supposed to be the galvo control board which looks like this. Uh, this is the one I pulled out. Um, it's, it's dead, uh, essentially. I couldn't get it to work. It wouldn't fire it up. It would tell me there's signals are coming in, but otherwise it wouldn't function. As you can see, it's still missing. However, um, it is working. Uh, and this is just a simple bypass I did. Um, okay, first of all, I'll explain the bypass in a little bit more detail. Um, I thought about the Galvo board as more of an optical, or not optical, but uh, audio amplifier. And so what it did is, uh, if you see right here, I directly took the X and Y uh, signals off the IC, which is right here, uh, the program board, the DMX processing. Um, I basically took the signals directly off that, and I hotwired it right off the processor uh, to uh, each Galvo. So even though they can't find and map out zero, they still scan, uh, basically uh, working almost like uh, speakers would for left and right, except this is X and Y. Uh, I did replace the red laser with a blue laser. Uh, you can see right here, it's a little crooked. Um, I need to be mounted a little bit better. Um, hopefully I can get it in the red laser eventually again. I don't know if I want to keep it uh, green and blue though. It does look cool green and blue. so. Um, for 400 milliwatts uh, blue laser and a 300 milliwatt green laser, it's about 700 milliwatts total. Uh, it's a very bright laser, as you can see. Um, it's audio controlled. It is DMX controlled. Uh, when I put in the blue laser, uh, you'll notice right here that there's another board right here. Uh, this is a 12 volt board that I popped in and uh, mounted and that's connected to the power supply right here on the uh, high voltage side and then I got the blue laser driver board right here with the TTL modulation uh, connected up to where the red would modulate from the green uh, laser board with the TTL modulation here which is directly connected up to high voltage also Um, if you look very closely, basically you see two mirrors right there, uh, and those mirrors will slowly rock back and forth. The top mirror, uh, you'll see, is for your up and down, and the bottom mirror is for your left and right. So, this is your Y movement, and this is your X movement. So all in all, it's going pretty well. I will need to get a new control board for the Galvos. Uh, that's one of the next things I'm going to do. Uh, the lasers also do need some lining up. As you can see, they're not perfectly lined up, but they're they're fairly close. And now I'll run a video and how it looks when it's all running. And it's a pretty cool video, I think. Uh, for my first DMX rebuild project, it is going pretty well. So I thought I would share and give you a little bit of an inside look on how these lasers work and run and operate. 